The mystery of Pangaea, the supercontinent that once was. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic. The theory that all the continents we know today were once connected, forming a single massive landmass known as Pangaea. So, buckle up as we journey back in time to explore this geological marvel. What is Pangaea? The concept of Pangaea comes from the Greek words pan, meaning all, and Gia, meaning Earth. This supercontinent theory proposes that, around 335 million years ago, almost all of the land on Earth was combined into a single, colossal continent. Pangaea began to break apart approximately 175 million years ago during the Mesozoic era, eventually forming the continents we recognize today. The formation of Pangaea played a crucial role in the geological and biological history of our planet, influencing everything from climate to the distribution of species. Evidence supporting Pangaea. Fossil records. One of the strongest pieces of evidence for Pangaea comes from fossil records. Similar fossils of plants and animals, such as the Mesosaurus, a freshwater reptile, have been found on continents that are now separated by vast oceans. These fossils indicate that the continents were once joined, allowing these species to inhabit widespread areas. Additionally, fossils of the ancient Glossopterus plant have been discovered in Africa, South America, Antarctica, and Australia, further supporting the idea of a connected landmass. Geological features. If you look closely at the coastlines of continents like South America and Africa, you'll notice that they fit together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. This observation was first made by Alfred Wegener, a German meteorologist and geophysicist who introduced the theory of continental drift in the early 20th century. Wegener's hypothesis suggested that the continents were once part of a larger landmass and gradually drifted apart, a revolutionary idea at the time. Similar rock formations and mountain ranges are also found on continents that are now divided by oceans. For example, the Appalachian Mountains in North America closely resemble the Caledonian Mountains in Scotland and Scandinavia, suggesting they were once part of the same range. Furthermore, geological studies have revealed that certain rock types and ages align across these distant continents, providing additional proof of their former connection. How did Pangaea break apart? The breakup of Pangaea is attributed to the movement of tectonic plates. These plates float on the semi-fluid asthenosphere beneath the Earth's crust and are constantly in motion. The movements, driven by processes such as mantle convection and slab pull, gradually split Pangaea into the continents we see today. This process continues today, with tectonic plates shifting at a rate of a few centimeters per year, leading to earthquakes, volcanic activity, and the formation of new geological features. The Impact of Pangaea's Breakup the breakup of Pangaea had significant impacts on the Earth's climate, ecosystems, and evolutionary paths. As continents drifted apart, ocean currents changed, leading to new climate patterns. This shift also caused species to adapt or migrate, giving rise to the biodiversity we see today. For instance, as land masses separated, populations of animals and plants became isolated, leading to divergent evolutionary paths and the development of unique species on different continents. The story of Pangaea is a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet. Understanding this ancient supercontinent not only gives us insight into Earth's past, but also helps us comprehend the forces shaping its future. The study of Pangaea highlights the interconnectedness of Earth's geological and biological systems, reminding us of the ever-changing landscape of our world. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of our world.